Hi everyone. <laughs> There's my boy Gimli. There's me. And um, yeah, I don't really want to show my face so much anymore, but um, at the moment, um, but you get to see this, this guy, he's actually um, asleep at the moment, so um, he's not going to be in this video, but um, yeah, I am just going to update that I am currently isolating because um, I'm a disability support worker and um, we were just notified that there is a positive case at work. Um, not specifically with our staff and our participants, um, but um, because it is a shared building of um, units, uh, there is another residence in the unit block that has tested positive, so I had to have my fifth COVID test because um, on Monday I just had my other test because I started getting flu symptoms and my um, because my nose started running, it's been really cold and um, I have asthma, <laughs> so I have this um, non-sickness uh, cough except for the fact that it's asthma. But um, yeah, my mask was getting wet and everything at work and it just wasn't a great situation. So even with the sniffles, um, I had to get tested and then obviously with the news today that somebody in the building has tested positive, well there's another test again so um monday i lost two shifts from work and i'm lucky i guess in a way that it's my day off so um yeah i self-isolated um fully um just sitting at the lake in the van <laughs> i think i just was so bored i just went to sleep <laughs> i just caught up on my sleep it's been a busy week with um doing van life stuff um anyway so I just wanted to do a quick video on my latest shopping online shopping haul because <laughs> there's a few things that I can't get um, at our local stores. Um, I usually get things from Anaconda um, or Bunnings, but um, there are some things that you just can't get um, locally. And plus all the retails are now closed because we are in full lockdown. Uh, COVID has really taken over our lives here. Um, I'm in Wollongong um, where I work, but I am currently locked down where my residential address is, which is in Warilla, which is a Shalhaba LGA suburb. So yes, I am, whichever, wherever I go, I'm in lockdown. So <laughs> I have been doing a lot of online shopping at the moment. So it's been a year and I have figured out what are the things that I need to be comfortable. So far I've been using um, my my bath towels that from where I when I lived in a um, you know what, what would you say brick and mortar or like a you know <laughs> a stationary house. Um, yeah so uh, my old place I had just um, yeah, towels that I used um, forever and I um, just, you know, wanted to save money when I first moved into the van. Um, but I'm realizing that like, yeah, you know, it's really hard to dry bath towels. Like, you know, um, if I use them every couple of days and they're still damp. So I have gone to Travel Universe, which is online and this is what I bought. And I was looking for microfiber towels. So, um, this one here is a 360 degrees one. It's a large, which, you know, these come in different sizes. Um, I'm only 147 centimeters tall. So, um, which is, I think 411. So I wanted to get something a pretty decent size. Um, uh, and yeah, something that was really good at drying really quick. So I got this, which is a compact towel, um, which would come under the category of hiking and camping on the Travel Universe website. Um, and yeah, you can even fold it up um, when you haven't, like when you're not using it, when it's clean, fold it up and put it into the little handy um, little bag. So here's the one that I've opened. Um, it doesn't have zippers or anything. So it's super, super compact and super light. Um, and this is the towel that I bought too um, because I'm going to slowly replace my other ones. But I wanted to see what they were like. And they are what they say they are. They are super soft and um, suede texture, um, which is really nice. And um, what it's supposed to do is um, be very, yeah, super absorbent. Um, it has the, yeah, the handy loop. And also 
the most important for me, which is the super fast drying. Um, so that when I'm in the van and it's cold because it's winter time at the moment in Australia and um, I just want to, yeah, have a shower the next day and yeah, I don't want to have a damp cold towel. So yeah, hopefully this is the, the cure to my winter blues. Um, so I ended up getting a, um, a go travel laundry bag. So this is the back of that packet um, and it's 60 by 40 centimeters or 23.5 by 16 inches um, and you can actually wash this laundry bag which is really great um, if you're going camping or hiking and um, or camp yeah when you're camping and you know you've been collecting a whole lot of dirty clothes after um, hiking um, or like you know dirty from bushwalking and things like that it's really good to give the laundry bag a wash every now and then with my ikea bag because it's um, kind of waterproof um like it's easier to clean the inside of it every time i take it to the laundry um, laundrette um but yeah i wanted to get something that was vertical uh, rather than horizontally wide so this is long um it has a drawstring there it comes with a warning um to avoid strangulation and entanglement and keeping the cord out of the reach of children um and it's that stretchy drawstring as well so it can snap back and hurt you like that but um yeah so some people um uh a bit clumsy like i am sometimes um but yeah you can hang it up like that and it closes there but I think this will actually be really good if I have two um, you know because I've got two hooks where I can hang them at the back and then a third one for um, something else um, yeah and again it's about being compact fitting everything in um, and just being really super organized um, and things to be neat as well um, you know now the van is pretty much finished it's um i'm just kind of tidying things up in terms of um aesthetics things so i'm kind of trying to get a theme of things that match so obviously having the towel the blue towel and having um blue the laundry stuff is blue anyway so that is my laundry bag which is that long and it's going to sit vertically and um like hanging at the back and I can fit so much more and it's going to be um, nicer when I close the back door as well. Um, the other thing that I bought from Travel Universe, I'm not getting paid for this. I just like to um, show where I get stuff that are actually really cool. So if people are interested in it, like, you know, they know where to find it and at decent prices. <laughs> so, um, because uh, Cedar Summit is a brand that you can find um, a lot of places, but it can be expensive at other places like um, BCF. Unless you're um, a member of there, you will pay full price. Um, so, yeah. I know I can, I'm a member of Anaconda, um, but I still chose to just buy it with my, yeah, my Travel Universe um, shopping because they were at a good price. Um, and the reason why I got this laundry wash is because I have a USB operated um, washing machine. I haven't shown it. I haven't really used it. I haven't used it. I want to try it. It's all in Chinese, which I don't read. Um, so I've been kind of reluctant and I haven't been in a situation where I've been desperate to wash my stuff because there's always been either a laundromat or a, um, yeah, like a friend or my son's washing machine. So I haven't really had the chance to use it, but I do want to use it. And the reason why I got um, these laundry wash leaves um, is because they're by biodegradable again the packet is light it's small and compact so keeping these in the van um, it's not going to weigh down my van because I got my van weighed for certification just the other day and um, yeah I really need to keep the weight down now because um, I emptied the whole van um, my last video was what it looked like without anything in it um, and yes yeah, so now I'm being really super conscious about my weight and what's in it, but I want to make sure that, um, you know, as soon as COVID's over and we can travel anywhere, I'm just ready. So I've got my laundry wash um, leaves. And one of the things is I have been to caravan parks as well as holiday parks where they do have washing machines, but you've got to supply your own um, washing powder, which I didn't have the last time um, I went to um, Lane Cove. 
Um, and uh, they sell it for like a dollar a bag. But again, like, you know, this is actually um, pretty cost effective uh, for 50 leaves where it was like a dollar for um, a couple of like a bag with a couple of scoops of um, laundry powder from uh, the, ca the holiday park that I was at. Uh, so yeah, so I can just keep these rather than a box of heavy laundry powder. Um, this is heaps better. So if I have to, you know, power up and just stop into a caravan park for 24, 24 hours, um, I'm ready to go and not spending extra money. Um, uh, and then having something that's heavy in the van, like a box of, you know, um, laundry powder, if I've got extra leftover and stuff like that. So just being aware of... Uh, space as well as weight and this is really good especially because it's biodegradable um, which is awesome and I also got the Cedar Summit pocket hand wash um, it's also 50 leaves these are awesome things for traveling um, the the reason why I got this was because um, obviously same reason as this small compact light. Um, when I go camping, I have this like little um, bum bag. Um, I think people call them fanny packs in America. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you know Aussie slang, the reason <laughs> what fanny is, um, yeah, you'll probably laugh like I am because I'm a child sometimes and immature. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a bum bag with lots of different pockets in it. Um, so which carries my doggy um, bags um, in case it doesn't poo. Um, also my antibacterial wash, lip gloss tissues um yeah my wallet and my keys and stuff like that so when I go to the drop toilet and stuff um yeah sometimes they don't have hand wash sometimes they do sometimes somebody like I don't know if it's been destroyed by other people like visiting the the campsite or if it just yeah um the the sink is broken and there's no water and there's no soap so I want to be ready um you know when I go bushwalking and stuff like that camping um and I can keep this um in that particular bum bag and it's always going to be there and again it's not going to be um something that's going to load up my bum bag and weigh weigh it down any more than the other things so and with the antibacterial wash I just um yeah I just refill the the antibacterial gel from my bigger bottles inside the van so these are the things that I'm trying to do is being a bit more sustainable save money um and again the most compact and lightweight um products that I can find at a good price as well um and Cedar Summit is a really good brand Okay, so the main thing, and this is how I found Travel Universe, was because I um, <laughs> I went on a date one time and I used my hair straightener as an iron um, <laughs> to iron my shirt. <laughs> so, and my uh, inverter is only 12 volt and I didn't check that my hair straightener, which is also a silver bullet, um, that was a 240 volt hair straightener and my inverter started beeping like crazy and yeah it wasn't a good situation so I started um googling where I couldn't find 12 volt hair straighteners um because every now and then I like to go somewhere nice um brush my hair and straighten it um and also yeah I wanted to replace bigger things like my hair straightener and my hair dryer currently are big um, and they take up space in my, um, my, my big suitcase with all my makeup and stuff. So I had that because of performing um, and I want to be able to yeah, just take thing, the big things out and um, organize it so there are more smaller compact things and that will save us, uh, like free up some more space inside the van. Um, yeah. In other places so that's my that's my theory um, anyway so I found um, the silver bullet Lux travel set um, which was a really good price and because I've I've got currently the the bigger silver bullet and it works for me and my hair type um, which is kind of thick and kinky um, so I actually wanted to keep with that brand um, and these come in three different colors I usually get everything black but I'm trying to break that um, because when things are in the van like it's such a small space I can still lose things like how um so and especially when things are black <laughs> so I decided to get something cute I'm not a pink person so this was actually supposed to be like rose gold um 
yeah, just something different anyway. So uh, I guess it's the new me living in the van um, and going through uh, that fluid, uh, me being a bit of a the gender fluid type of person and um, I'm not going to attach um, gender to colours and things like that. But um, <laughs> whatever, that's a whole different conversation that a lot of people like to have. But anyway, I'm not going to have that conversation now. I'm going to open this and show you what I have and if this is the um, best thing that I found was because of the excuse my nail polish here where is it there it says dual voltage and the best thing about this product is um, so for somebody like me who doesn't even check, like, you know, now I'm being a little bit more conscious about checking voltage and, you know, things like that. <laughs> It's so important when you only have 12 volts um, battery and and um, inverter. So this is a straightener that is a dual voltage alternating current AC 120 to 240 volts and automatically adjusts to the proper voltage when plugged into a power outlet. That is what I need. Um, and one of the other things which I've been mentioning throughout this whole video is space and weight so this is actually smaller and thinner than my other silver bullet which is black and big and a bit bulky um i love it but at the same time it is heavy um and it takes up space whereas this brand new silver bullet travel size um hair straightener look how thin that is that is thin and it's so light like it is so light i love it um and, you know, like the fact that you can switch it, it switches over to um, 12 volt and then you can put it into a mains if you're like in a hotel room and or whatever, if you're performing and plug it into the mains in the, the dressing room, um, it, you can use it in, on a 240 volt, like on the mains. So it's going to adjust the voltage um when you plug it in how cool is that that is like one of the coolest things ever um and it's probably made for people like me <laughs> um and people in the van like who like to travel and like to go out to fine dining restaurants every now and then um because you're saving money not paying rent hello <laughs> and this look how small this hair dryer is it is so cute but the fact that again this is light weight it is not going to take up much room in the van and you know these are things like little luxuries um for people who like me i mean i'm still kind of like i'm still working um i travel around um i like the city sometimes um and when i go to the city like when i went to melbourne um i went to restaurants every day um and i like wearing makeup sometimes oh most of the time when i do go out somewhere nice that's just how i grew up i have have these big grand plans <laughs> that as soon as lockdown's over I would have saved and I would will have saved enough money to go on a trip um somewhere and I can go to nice restaurants again and dress up nicely with my hair done and now I have this um beautiful Lux travel set which is small compact and I am going to totally rearrange all of my um my big performance bag with my makeup and everything everything's going to be sorted and my van if you saw my last video which was basically the photo um slideshow of what my van looks like 99.99 percent .99 finished um that is the reason why I've put everything back and I'm um, super conscious of how much weight I did have once I had it weighed at the weigh bridge and um I have left out a lot of stuff so that was an opportunity by taking everything out and going I seriously need to do something about the things I don't need um, and uh, I do machete training or um, weapons training and I had like three machetes and maybe five to six knives <laughs> And they all weigh down the van and when you weigh the van down uh, and you travel around, you're using more petrol, it's more pressure on, you know, your tires and things like that. So there's another reason why um, being conscious about your weight and what you put in it. So yeah, I was just talking about um, the fact that there is a lot of, um, like, like, 
it's been a year since I moved into the van and um, building slowly and I'm so happy with how it is now um, once everything's cleaned up I might do an actual tour um, with everything in it um, once yeah I've sorted all of this stuff out um, but yeah I'll probably do a video um, talking about getting it certified um, if you have a commercial van like I have um, and convert it into a motorhome. Um, I see on the Van Life Australia um, it's a question that um, is asked a lot so I can yeah talk about that because I think it's important that you do things properly especially if you do have an accident and you need to be insured properly. Um, I was lucky enough to um, be covered by NRMA while I was building it. I lost my insurance with with, um, budget because once I put a bed in that was it they weren't going to cover me so um, yeah I can talk about that in another video but at the moment it is one of the things if you um, are going to start doing van life is um, planning on the things that you um, you love um, and need um, for your everyday life so if you're somebody who works um, or likes going to, you know, doing, still doing their hair and everything. Um, and, you know, like this kind of stuff might not be important to anybody else. Um, but for me, it's still like one of the luxuries that I want to keep in the van. But the best way to do it is finding smaller options that will suit um, the power um, that I, I have. So catering to your own specific needs and, um, like I said, looking for um, one shop um, is very hard to find everything. So I just wanted to share this today of where I found these products because, um, like I said, they are making my life easier and more comfortable in the van and hopefully by sharing it might make yours more comfortable as well. Okay, no worries. Bye. Bye.